So what we're gonna do right now is take a tour of the crystal caves here on the beautiful island of Bermuda. It goes deep down in there and should be quite interesting. To start off, these caves are a must see when visiting Bermuda. I've been to a lot of caves and caverns in my lifetime, but these are by far the best that I have ever seen. But let's put that aside and get to a little history on this amazing work of nature. The caves were accidentally discovered in 1907 when two boys who were playing cricket stumbled upon the cave opening. Crystal Cave was discovered on a Sunday afternoon in March 1907 to escape the wrath of his parents who had warned him that Sunday was no day to be playing ball. Carl Gibbons and his friend Edgar Hollis decided to go inland to play. They were throwing the ball to each other and on one of the throws from Edgar, the ball was pitched way too high and went over into the grass. Naturally, Carl went in search of it. Suddenly, he noticed the grass and a small section of the hill waving to and fro for no evident reason. Upon close investigation, he discovered that warm air was emitting from the small hole in the earth. The opening was no larger than a shilling piece, which is about the size of a U.S. quarter. Carl and Edgar began to dig into the earth with their hands, and then decided to drop the stone in the opening. The tinkling sound of it made as it gradually fell heightened their interest even more as to what was really below. First, what was causing the air to be forced out, and why was it making that clinking noise? In the great excitement, Carl ran a short distance back to his house and secured a crowbar and raced back to enlarge the hole. After removing a few bits of rock, the earth suddenly began to slip under their feet, and luckily, they were able to get away before the patch completely disappeared, leaving an opening about three feet in diameter. Rather than scaring them, this quickened their sense of adventure, and after carefully surveying the situation, daringly, Carl decided to enter the crevice, which he could see tapered off for some distance at a 40 degree angle, thus affording much light to enter. After traveling for several feet, he decided to come back out for his buddy, who refused to go in without a light. Another quick trip home secured an old kerosene lamp, and with that, their only hope of survival for the next four hours as they explored the depths of Bermuda and saw the handiwork of nature over thousands of years unfold before the human eyes for the very first time. Both boys, unafraid of the unknown regions of the darkness, which was broken only by the small beam from their lamps, lured by the musical echoes of their footsteps, fascinated by the dazzling columns of limestone formed by the union of stalactites and stalagmites, slowly descended to a point 90 feet below the surface. When the cave opening was first discovered, no one knew what awaited below the surface. No one could have imagined it as an otherworldly cavern with formations of every size and shape surrounding a clear subterranean lake 55 feet deep. I'm told that today the caves are a favorite attraction for thousands of visitors every year. When I entered Crystal Cave, I could only imagine the sense of discovery and awe these two young boys experienced on that day over a century ago. While in the cave, our guide shut off the lights and we literally could not see our hands in front of our face. Had that boy's lantern went out back then, I personally do not believe they ever would have found the exit. The caves are over 30 million years old, and I have been told, and as I said in the beginning, these are a need to be on your must see list. I hope you enjoyed this quick tour and thanks for watching Pat's Adventures. Please subscribe to my channel as I have a variety of content which includes adventures, hiking, cruise reviews, airline reviews, hotel reviews, and other fun things. Also, please leave a comment as I like hearing from all of you. Take care.